Hi, welcome to How to Set Up Your Home Computer with me, Nico Rodriguez, and my partner, Mod Namey. Hey there, this is Nico with just some quick information on computers. Over the past 10 years, computers have progressed massively from super slow clunky machines to super fast netbooks, PCs, and Macs. Alright, first we'll begin with your general accessories. Right here you have your CPU, Central Processing Unit. This is the brains of your computer. Next, we have your power cord for your CPU. This is very important. If you do not have this, your computer will not run. Next, we're going to move on to the general keyboard, nothing to it. Volume control, very simple. Right here we just have a plain old optical mouse, color-coded end so you know where to plug it in. Next, we're going to move on to the webcam. This is a very simple webcam, just plug it in and play. It takes photos, records videos, anything you want. Right here we have your monitor. Very simple, this is a flat screen monitor, uh, LCD, very colorful, very bright. There you go. All right, so now we're going to discuss some ports on the back of the machine. First, we'll start out with the power cable port. This will provide power to your machine. Next, we're going to talk about the mouse and keyboard port. As you can see, they're color coordinated on the back of the machine. Next, we're going to talk about the printer. This big pink one is for your printer. Older printers still use this, but most do not. Next, this tiny blue one is for your monitor. Next, we're going to talk about the USB ports. They are located there. I have four on the back of my machine. Next, this is an Ethernet cable port. This is an easy way to get internet from your router to your computer. And now, these, the green and pink port is for audio and speakers. So now I'm going to show you how to plug these cables in. First, we'll start with the power cord. This one goes in a three-prong slot up at top. Next, we're going to do the audio and the microphone cable. Plug these two into the tiny ports down at the bottom. Very simple and easy. You should plug it in and it should work right away. All right, next we're going to move on to our mouse. Color-coordinated green slot up at top here. Next, we'll do the keyboard. This one has a pink purple end, and it goes in the purple slot right next to the green one. Next, we'll go with the webcam. Very simple. Plug it into the, one of the four USB ports on the back of your machine. Next, we'll go with the monitor. The monitor is a very important part of your computer. Then you screw these little plugs in here, and then it should be good to go. Now our machine is set up. Now if we turn it on and try to boot it, it should work. All right, now that we have all our wires plugged in correctly into the back of the machine, we should be able to boot this computer with no problem at all. And how you do this is, there's a power button on the front of the computer here. They have two indicator lights. Once I flip this button, that green light will turn on showing that there's power to the computer. As you can see, the two lights lit up. And now, turn to my monitor and it should turn on almost instantaneously. This is a good sign. This means my computer is currently booting with no problem. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright. 